Hello and welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I am Ken Ocho. And we are starting today in somewhere in Ghana, <laughs> in the west coast of, of, of Africa. It will be the Black Stars taking on the Nigerian Super Eagles. Uh, what, are, what are the matches we played in 1957, 67, 77, 87, 97? 2007, 2017. You know, Ghana got the independence in 1957. <laughs> From that till now, it has always been uh, a kind of a rivalry between both nations. Today, today's final won't be uh, uh, any, any, any different. The, the, the team started gradually, picked up the tempo, and I tell you, they are sustaining that frenzy as they take on the Black Stars. But the Black Stars are at home. At a point, I know remember at the time that I bet the Pele once said that, just bring a Ghanaian team, maybe the secondary school, name them Black Stars, and they'll be the Super Eagles. We were their weapon boys. Then they turned our own. So right now, that rivalry is a very, very lively one. By, by 7 o'clock today, 7 p.m. today, we shall find out who will take home, not just the trophy, but then a hundred thousand dollars that you know, uh, comes along with winning uh, the Wafu 2017 uh, uh, tournament. And then we'll come back, we'll come back, we'll come back, we'll come back home because, yes, the FA Cup, what do you call it, the ITO Cup, is there. And then we are gradually getting to the last bit of it. Our matches were played yesterday, and we shall tell you those teams that progress and are likely to play themselves because the big guns are falling. Some of them, the defending champion is still there. So he tells you that the excitement is also uh, uh, still there. And also right there in Africa, the CAF, is it the, yes, <laughs> CAF Champions League. Ah, the Sounders were beating, but National, uh, a team with pedigree, the best team uh, in the, in, that has been in the continent in the history of the competition is right there in the last four. Tennis, who, who would have thought of it? Federer said, look, can we do something different? But today, we have a team of Federer and Nadal playing together as a doubles team. Who would have thought of that? I tell you, the excitement is buzzing at the lava. Rod Lava, uh, uh, you don't take anything away from him. Uh, 11, 11 big ones he has, 11 grand slam. He has two golden slam, won all slams in two years. Nobody has done that. Rather in the closing, in the old or in the, in the open era. But then, as you see it, it is, uh, uh, there, there they are, the best two players in the world. Because when Europe took on uh, uh, the rest of the world. I don't know if Europe is bigger than the rest of the world, but in this case, I think they are much, much better. Ha! Ah, Tammy Abraham. <laughs> to play for Nigeria or not to play for Nigeria, we shall give you that gist. We shall tell you, we shall update you on where they are. But then they, there is never a bigger story than the story of, you know, uh, uh, Niasse, the story of Omar Niasse, the Senegalese, the rejected stone that has not just become the cornerstone, but has become the fulcrum on which the Everton team is resting. A man asked to go, but now has become the saving grace of a coach who never saw football in him. It is channel sport on Sunday. We shall also try as much as possible to reach out to one of, the, one of those we, we think should be the coach of the year uh, for the, of the NPFL. I am Ken Ochonogo, yes, but I have a team, and here they are. Hear me. Good afternoon, Vias. Good to be on set again. Um, uh, I love um, uh, the story you mentioned uh, before the final one that's talking about um, uh, Omar Niasse. It's a story that uh, interests me, a story that shows that if you are hardworking, if you are resilient, if you believe in yourself, not minding whatever anybody is saying, no matter how highly placed they are, the sky will be the limit. Just keep on doing what you know how to do best. You will always, your time will come, your chance will come. And once you are hardworking, you are diligent, you persevere, you will always come, come out uh, to be the best. Omar uh, Niasse, uh, 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 I think for me, is the best thing that has happened to football this week. Omar Niasse. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> good to be here again. So, really you know what he said, you know, it's, it's really, really sad when. Uh, People just look at you. Just look at someone, and you make up your mind that this person cannot amount to, to, to anything. anything. It's really, really bad. The coach saw him play for only 45 minutes, 
After 45 minutes, he made up his mind that this guy does not have a future at this club. And look at it right now. He's the one that's actually making the coach keep his job at the club because they've been having a very, very poor run of results. And yeah, he comes up, he steps up. In fact, I'm pretty sure when they put him in that game, the last game against Bournemouth, it was an act of desperation, but it turned out to be a means of salvation for the coach because he came on. And after five minutes, he got the equalizing goal and he got the winning goal and made, made it get the first in the while. So uh, Omani has like, like Emi said, do not let anybody bring you down. Nobody can bring you down without your own concept. He stood up, he worked hard. Look at him now, he's just getting there. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, <coughs> don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> you tell your own story. <laughs> that is the story. A cup, uh, the, the uh, FA Cup, the ITO Cup, the Challenge Cup, all the cups in one. You, we, are, we are still naming the same thing. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. <laughs> good to be here, really. Um, Tio didn't really simply put it well. He, actually, he was actually sent to the reserves at some point last season yes. before he was sent on loan to Hull City. <laughs> mm. Ama amazing game yesterday. I saw that game. Then to an ITO Cup, I, I, after watching the games yesterday, um, the teams that have gone into the semi final, the mm. likes of FC Fine Banco, I'm wondering at this stage, after playing it at eight game league season, why make a quarter final of a, a, a cup home and away? We can make this burden less on. I think the, the, the people in charge should look at, at this scenario again. And because it's all around the world. Nobody plays a two-legged affair at the quarterfinal of a cup competition anymore. I think we should look at it and actually modernize to reduce the burden on these players. But good results. Yes, the FC final but two to um, semi-final of mm -hmm. ITO Cup yesterday and a couple of other, other teams yesterday. I, I was getting the feedbacks of FC final, but hopefully we'll see the other results. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, we see another result. We are not starting with another result. We are starting from Ghana. We are starting from Ghana. I tell you, uh, we, we, we shall look at the road to Ghana. Uh, the Super Eagles you know, started by playing Mali, played Guinea, and then played Ghana. And then uh, uh, at, the end of, at that point, somebody said, This is. They are replicating what is happening at Old Trafford, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening? That was, what was happening at Old Trafford? What <laughs> last season? <laughs> last season. <laughs> last season. You know, so I mean, they, 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 were, they, were, they, were not, they were not scoring, they were not winning, they were not, they were not losing either. So uh, right there until they played Ghana, and then uh, they, they did score not just one, they just they scored twice, and then uh, that took them straight to the semi-finals where they met on uh, you know our next door neighbor. Uh, uh, gentlemen, let us start. Let us start from the end, not the beginning. Who do you hear me? Who do you tip to win this? Match because we are going to ask you guys to open the lines. That's a leading question. And especially, <laughs> I, I, I think um, you should know by now that when it comes to anything Nigeria, mm -hmm. no matter how uh, 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 exactly you are, you are testing my <laughs> on, on national TV, <laughs> anyway, whichever way you want to look at you it, you don't want to go to where went last week. <laughs> but the funny is that I'm, 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 I'm saying yeah. Nigeria would win, yeah. and okay. why? Yeah, it's not just about patriotism now. This is the only team that is yet to concede in this competition. Mm, okay. You know that for you to win any particular competition, it's not just about what you are doing in the attack. So this team is yet to concede the goal. It shows that they are doing something right. And they, 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 they've risen in confidence at, from step every step. game, step by step. You saw that yeah. the, first, the first two games ended uh, in a draw. Needed and they needed to get that win in the final game against Ghana. They had their back on the wall and they did the job. Two goals. Brilliant. And again, um, uh, they, were, they, they played the, uh, our neighbor, the, uh, the Benin, uh, in the um, uh, semi finals. We got a. They controlled the game. Yeah. Yes. And, and won the game. Call it one in, call it after They got the three points, they yes. got the job done. So yes. that, 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 that is the road. That is the road. That, 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 that's the road. That's the road. talking about the Waffle Cup 0 0 against Mali. Yeah. Then um, zero, zero, against, against Guinea yeah. to a goalless draw. Against Ghana, they got the, all the important all three points, which gave them five points um, from that uh, 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 group. And Proceeded on to the quarterfinals, semifinals. where semi-finals where they defeated um, yeah, yeah. Benin Republic one 0 and now we're facing uh, uh, our perennial rival. Our perennial rival. It doesn't get bigger than this. Yeah. We've beaten them before. You know, you know, it's you not know, you know, you know, you know, there is one thing at stake here. Um, Hundred thousand sure. dollars. Exactly, because these players, NFF already made it clear to them, we don't have money for you. We're not giving you so, anything. So they're so they going to end the money. Once you win this particular competition, go and share the money. Burger rice is also at stake. Yes, right. Uh, okay, but, but let, let me come to you too. Uh, uh, I said that we did beat them right there uh, at the group stages. But as I then they had six points. But yes. on, on a syllable, yes. nobody could have met them. Yes. Whatever, whatever the outcome of Nigeria match, I mean, they yeah, knew that they have qualified. They, but they, they, well, I said that nothing was much at stake apart from pride. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that because we beat them, we should say, okay, fine, we, know, uh, we are going to replicate that same result in the, in the finals today? Definitely. See, truth to be told, Ken, when we beat them... Uh, uh, are you looking at an analyst or as a Nigerian? No, 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 no. Okay, so, see, Ken, it's simple. 
we, we had our backs against the wall. We needed maximum one point. And we went out there. We were to get in the first goal. Yeah. Very, very, very impressive uh, football we played on, on, on the day. But the truth is this. Now, like Kevin uh, Rifle said, bragging rights are at stake. Like, it's the money you're also talking about, which, you know, obviously, everybody wants the money. We are going to defeat Ghana. We're going to defeat them very, very well, Ken. I, okay. I, I think I have a okay. different perspective um, to, to Tio's view. Yes. You can say that um, Ghana were a bit more relaxed because they've actually gone into the next stage of the competition. Are they but ever relaxed? Anybody see, take on the play Nigeria? We will not have it as easy as There's nothing like a dead rubber when Ghana and Nigeria. Obviously, it would have been easy. It could have been football. Is a sentimental absolutely. He could have played on their minds that we are true, we are true. Let's take it easy. But today's final is going to we're not be text it it's, going, it's going to be a do or die affair. Nigeria will not have it easy. Oh, we of, know, of, no, we know of just to win any championship, you yes. must come but against the best. Come out here we understand. We are all Nigerians, we want to see our country. Win. <laughs> but if you come out here and say on paper, once we enter the field, we'll be together. No, no, let's no, no. on the back of course. We're, we're not preaching we're, complacency, we're not saying exactly. exactly. we'll run over the Ghanaians. Yes. What we're saying is with what we have seen in this competition so far, yes. I think we Ghana have we, we have enough in our armory. Of goal. Okay, we have good. a lot in our armory uh, yes. to take down them. Okay, okay. And, and we have not, have not been considering goals. And I think that should that should that should start with okay. something. We've, we've not been scoring. We've, we've, we've scored just three goals, goals. Three goals in four matches. You don't. You don't. That, you, that, 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 that's a decent return. The defense actually wins championship. That's like zero point nine. I'm guessing Milan to nineteen ninety six. Yes, they tell you that. Man, you as good as their defense were last season, they did not win the championship. They won the Europa League. We're talking about the Wafu Cup. Let's look at it. I I am thrilled a little bit because I'm seeing. Uh, each match he, he plays for the national team uh, 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 gets that much confidence, you know, understand that this is my arena. I am not, I'm not a new fight here now. I'm not just trading here. They threw him to that battle against Cameroon. He came out, you know, uh, uh, you know, smoking, smiling, you know, looking fresh. And here he is playing in the chant, playing in Wafu and all those things, organizing his defense. Do you think this borders well, you know, that do you see him in our, our crucial match in two weeks' time against the Zambians? That yes, we do not need his feet. You know, uh, that you know, he, he should man the post. I, I think Ezenwa should man the post. Ezenwa is one goalkeeper in the MPFA. I've actually watched him. Even when Bamba Drissa came up with competition for him in FC Fanny, he persevered and he's somebody that will not take sitting on the bench lying low. He's done well, he's proven what a class goalkeeper he is today. And I'm sure the FC Fanny has gone on to uh, I took up. I'm sure he will be hoping he has Ezenwa at his disposal because the guy has come on good. His confidence level, his organization of defense, he's much much out than very well. See that what they say from him there. He's been amazing. Uh, and if he's fit in two weeks' time, there's no reason why Ezenwa shouldn't be starting for us. You see, why, why, um, uh, top coaches yeah. all over the world, why don't, why, why, why don't they joke with match fitness? This is what is um, uh, happening. And for me, I'm happy for the MPFL. Yeah. It shows that not everything about the MPFL is negative. Yes. Oh. With the, the quality of players um, uh, on display that Nigeria has taken to this competition, I, I, I feel we can only build on this. Should I want to, should I want to have a look in? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. His return, return on goals was just magnificent. Because, because apart from the guys in China, tell me which Nigerian guy in Europe yes. is actually doing as well as And him. when he scores, he scores. Exactly. Yes. When he scores, he scores. And uh, the confidence is there. Yeah. The, 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 the way the top scorer in the world. He's basically a new to the boss for any defender. And for those, for those Thomas, for the Uncle Thomas. Yes, Uncle Thomas. Uncle Thomas who still believe that nothing good can come Exactly. That nothing good can come out of the Nigeria Premier League. I think they should have a, a meeting because now it shows wow. that now we have healthy competition for space okay. for shirt. And the guy is in a hard worker. Nationality. The guy is a hard worker. He troubles the defense. All right. Okay. He's, he's a hard worker. He troubles the defense. And then Ezenwa is there. Back up. They say uh, uh, goals win you uh, matches. Defense win you championship. We we'll go on a short break and we'll all come back. We shall look at how far. And then when, when the time is right, we'll come to you and then you let us have your contribution.